जननीं शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गुरु पादपद्मे तयोश्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मुहुर्वप्रथमे हमें परम पूज्यपाद स्मरणानंद जी महाराज आदर्श उपस्थिति प्रति हमार भक्तिपूर्ण प्रणाम जानाई तार पर महाराज आत्मा मदे ए सभार अध्यक्ष पूजनीय गौतम आनंद जी प्रति हमार सश्रद्ध प्रणाम जानाई हमार सश्रद्ध नमस्कार शुभेच्छा दी बाकी अन्य देर सकल के जाना ही विशेष तो एक है ना जा उपस्थित साधु ब्रह्मचारी देर प्रति हम हम के इंग्रजी ते वक्तों विषय भाग के वक्तों भी रखते बोला होये चे श्रेष्ठ ने हमें शेष भक्तों भी इंग्रजी ते बोल दो ये एक तो आगे हमें विप्रदास महाराज जब मन जानिए चले the same way I had the blessed privilege and good fortune to work with Most Revered Smarananda Ji Maharaj. During the first five years, <coughs> he, he, Smarananda Ji Maharaj and myself, we were assistant secretaries under Atmasthananda Ji Maharaj. Tarpare Jakun, when Smarananda Ji Maharaj became the general secretary, I became his assistant secretary. <coughs> so the I had close and then occasion to observe his life at close quarters. <coughs> his, I found the chief characteristic of his personality is simplicity. By simplicity is meant he is available to all people and all people could get along with him. Austere people including myself are difficult to get along with whereas Mananandaji Maharaj was always is characterized by simplicity. So he could mix freely with all people and all people could also mix with him freely. Another characteristic of his personality was his vast knowledge. He was well versed in both English and Sanskrit literature. I was very many times was amazed to see his knowledge. He was knowledge knowledgeable on many subjects. You could discuss with him on many topics. Most of my interactions with him were regarding intellectual topics. So this, many of this cannot be discussed here in a meeting such as this. Another characteristic of his was his love and compassion for all people. He had love especially for the poor, the poor and suffering people. I have found 
another and approach ring to seek help to serve the poor and suffering people he always came forward to render whatever help he could do he could give in this connection i would like to mention one important point and that is the when we deal with very great men we have to judge them by a different standard a higher standard with the ordinary standard with which we understand and judge ordinary people they cannot be applied in the case of great men to understand their greatness you have to use a you have to employ a higher a higher standard <coughs> another point also i would like to mention here and that was uh, that the open that was once stated by a famous american social leader and that is and that the great american social leader has stated that a great men should be evaluated not by their achievements alone but by the obstacles that he has overcome she arbindo also pointed out that greatness of swami vivekananda cannot be judged by his achievements no doubt he made wonderful achievements but the we should also take into consideration the obstacles that swami had to overcome in in the west <coughs> so this is to in the case of smarananda ji also obstacles in our life there are three kinds first is the obstacles created by ourselves we ourselves create our own obstacles then the second obstacle is the obstacles created by other people the third obstacle is the obstacles created by circumstances or by destiny in the case of ravier smarananda ji maharaj the first two obstacles were not there were not prominent but he had to deal with the third type of obstacles and he overcame those obstacles with his great love and dependence on sri sri thakur and ma he was especially devoted to sri sri ma this i have seen several times he was deeply devoted to the holy mother and because of his devotion to thakur and holy mother he could face and and overcome so many ob- obstacles so the success that he attained in life we should also note this great quality he attained uh, the success in life not by mere intellectual or or administrative capacity he attained success mainly because of his pure pure life purity and tremend and great devotion great devotion to sri sri thakur and ma so this was behind him all through his life there was this undercurrent of 
is love for Thakur and especially love for mother. Many times I have noticed his great love for the Sisi Holy Mother. So there are the, these are the, some of the points I would like to discuss here. There are several other anecdotes which cannot be discussed in public in a meeting such as this. So with this, the Maharaj is, apart from his, the initiated disciples, he influenced many people, hundreds of people and loved him for his great spiritual and other qualities. He is passing away, though it was not sudden, it was expected. Everybody knew about his passing away, but nevertheless, he started passing away has left a, a deep void that may not be filled for a long time to come. So once again offering my respectful pranam, pranams to his sacred memory, I conclude this speech. Thank you all.